Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be another Android Studio tutorial. I'm going to be doing a series on beginner stuff for Android. And uh, so this is going to be the very first one for that. And I'm going to show you how to download and install Android Studio and how to download and install the Java JDK, which is otherwise known as the Java Development Kit. You need it to use Android Studio because Android Studio uses the programming language Java. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go and install Android Studio and then I'll show you how to get the Java JDK and install that. So let's just open up a new tab and just start typing Android Studio. And we'll click on this link here, install Android Studio. That one looks pretty good, why not? And this is the install for Windows, which is what I'm going to be doing it on. So we click here, download Android Studio. Click here again, download Android Studio. Read this agreement. Here, I'm just gonna read it over really quick here. Wow, amazing agreement, okay. Now let's download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel this download. Once it's downloaded, you'll have something like this in your downloads folder. So just run it, click run, let Android do its thing. Okay, then we'll get a prompt here and we'll just click yes, go to next, go to next. You agree and choose a folder that you want to install it in. I'm actually gonna change this file path. Once you've chosen your file path, just press next and then click install and wait for the installation to finish. I think it might take around five minutes. Actually, while this is installing, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab the Java JDK. So we'll open up a window and start typing Oracle Java JDK. Search it. Uh, we can just click uh, the first link here. Go to the Java platform right here. So you're in Java downloads. I'll put all the links in the description, by the way. Click download. Then we want to scroll down, select accept the user agreement. And we choose the system that we were downloading Java for. So in my case, I have a Windows 64-bit system, so I'm gonna click the Windows 64-bit download here. Once the JDK is finished downloading, we're gonna open it, click yes, and we can minimize our browser window. Click yes, next. Okay, looks like it's almost done. Click next. Once the JDK is done downloading, we need to add it to our system environment variables. So to find your environment variables on Windows 7 anyway, is you just type down here, environment variables, and you can go edit the system environment variables. Go to environment variables here and find path. Go to edit. And in here we need to put the path to the Java JDK. So go to the very start of this list here and look for, you might already have it. If you don't, then you're gonna need to add it. So we can see I already have it here. It's uh, It looks like this. I'll put it in a notepad file. So this section right here, program files, uh, Java JDK bin this is what you need to append to your environment variables. So it's gonna depend on where you installed it, but in, in my case, you go to computer, your C drive, program files, Java, and we have the Java JDK file here. So just click on that, then click on bin, and this is the path that you wanna copy. Copy that path and just stick it, append it to your environment, your variable value right here. So you just take that, go into here, and append it to the end of your variable value. Then you wanna click OK, and OK, and OK, and you should be good. Okay, it looks like our Android Studio download is done. Go next, and we'll go finish and start Android Studio. Oh, actually, before we get into Android Studio, we can actually check to make sure that uh, the Java JDK was installed correctly. We can just go into, to open up a command prompt, um, I just clicked on command prompt here, or you can type CMD and click enter. Either way, and then we can check the current Java version. So we can go Java dash version, and it will tell you uh, what your Java version is. And if we type path, we can check to make sure that our uh, our Java JDK bin file is in our environment variables path. And you can see it's right there. We have program files, Java JDK uh, bin. Okay, now let's open up Android Studio and uh, just make sure that the emulator is going to be working correctly. The emulator is what you're going to use to run your apps on. Um, Android Studio provides provides an emulator. You can also run it on a real device, but I'm going to show you how to get started with the Android emulator. So we go to start a new Android project. Uh, I'm just going to call it my application, sure. And phone and tablet, it's fine. Start an empty activity and hit finish. Okay, so now that our project is all opened up, we can make sure that all the dependencies for the emulator are installed by going up to tools go to Android, go to SDK Manager. You can see I have Android Marshmallow installed. That's the currently current one that I'm using. 
Uh, so what we want to do is go over to SDK tools and make sure that you have Intel emulator accelerator clicked right here. So if it's not clicked, just click it and then click apply and Android Studio will install everything that you need. Then we just click OK. Yours might start installing something. Mine already has it, so it won't. And then to make sure the emulator is running properly, we hit the play button up here. These are the virtual devices that I've already created, but you're going to need to create a new virtual de device. Pick a phone. Uh, doesn't really matter. Go next. You can pick the version that you're currently running. I'm, your, I'm running Marshmallow, so I'm going to choose that. Go next. And we can show advanced settings by clicking on the bottom. And this is kind of the only important thing, really. You can decide how much RAM you want to give to your emulator. I only have, I think, 8 gigs of RAM in my system. So I should actually probably give it some more. So I'm going to give it uh, 2 gigs of RAM. So at max, the emulator can use up a quarter of my total RAM. Uh, you can choose the amount of storage you want on the emulator. And that's pretty much all we... Oh, uh, enable keyboard input. That's kind of important if you have an app that you want to test. It's really annoying if you want to, if you have to punch keys with your mouse. So click that right there to enable the keyboard and then click finish. Looks like we got an error. I'll show you how to fix this. It says failed to parse properties from your file path. Go to tools, Android, AVD manager, click on the right here, go edit. And it says no hardware profile selected. We need to click on change and click clone device, finish edit device, finish, it's just a glitch, you click OK and you can see there's a profile here now. Then we have our Marshmallow version selected and our profile selected, just click finish. Okay now it looks like the emulator is working right, so we can close it and test it. This is the new emulator and we can see that the app is running and working in the emulator. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. If you want to see more on my beginner series with Android Studio, make sure to subscribe below and thanks for watching.